are the gods who hold dominion over the world. The givers of light. The stewards of the wilds. The guardians of the dead. Manipulate. Some would manipulate mortals. Create catastrophes. Send monsters to terrorize the land. Such are the whims of the gods. And I am healed, the greatest of these. Yet something, something ominous gnaws at the edges of my world. Akros is home to fierce warriors, yet they struggle against hordes of minotaurs. In Miletus, the city of philosophers, oracles foresee disaster. And Satessa, a haven in the wilds, is terrorized by monsters like none have seen before. My world is filled with heroes, but none of them are strong enough to defeat the enemy hiding in plain sight among them. So much power, so much adoration, and what do the gods do with it? They meddle. Ethara coddles the humans like children, while Phoenix, ever amused by their torment, finds new ways to enjoy them. Parametra strives to keep the mortals sheltered from the gathering shadows. And Mogus has seized the opportunity to set his minotaurs upon them. But standing among their ranks is the Sun God's champion, Elspeth. Heroism be enough to save them? <laughs> oh, yes. So now, they revel in their victory. While I make my place in the sky, among the gods. Darkness approaches. May the fates aid any who venture into the night alone. When does a hero's journey begin? The moment you step outside the safety of your homes, or when you realize the fight has just begun? Is it when you comprehend how small you are compared to the vastness of what threatens to destroy you? When did you learn that the journey isn't a lonely road, and you didn't have to face the darkness alone? Lesser souls lose heart and lay down their swords, but a champion risks everything for the greater good. 
comfort in this. True heroes never die. The sun rises, the sun sets. But we all have to cross the river someday. Even her. Resign yourself to your glorious fate.